Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to another episode of Here to Records Show and Tell. In this episode we've got all our stuff on the table because we're going to take you through what we bring to a meetup. What's in our bag? I've got my empty bag here. The bag is a Amazon Basics uh, camera bag. It's got all the nice little, uh, little pockets for sorting stuff out. But basically we're going to take you through everything we bring to a meetup. Something to keep in mind is that the only thing we won't really talk about is the tripods that we use because I'm using them for this video and the main camera is the Canon X-A10. We've showed that in other videos but um, I want to use this video or I want to use the camera to make this video so um, I'm going to use that and it's not going to go in the bag but everything else we use we travel quite light and it's all sitting on this table but I'm going to just uh, move the cameras around and then pack everything into the bag so you can see what we bring to Sometimes we bring this to a small conference if we weren't going to live stream. So if we were just recording the conference um, and not live editing or live streaming. And we tend to bring this just to meetups, which are usually like two hours, three hours long. So we can just record everything, capture it on the cameras, and then um, bring it home and edit it. So let's go. Let's see what we bring to a small meetup and small conference. Yeah, this is the gear we use. Uh, over here you can just about see the camera bag. Um, I don't think I need to bring that too far into shot. You don't need to see how we pack it. But it's got all the little sections and little places to put things. Um, but let's just take a look around the table and see what we got here. Um, our main camera, like I said a minute ago, is the X-A10, which is filming this video. So for the purposes of this video, I've just put in my 700D just to uh, fill a space in the bag. So I'll just put that in there. Basically, we don't really use that for events, but it can just sit in there in place of that. 700D, so let's pretend that's our main uh, camera. And then we just picked up this little thing. Um, it's a cold shoe mount on the bottom, you can see there. And on the top is like a cold shoe reel, let's say that's what it's called. Um, and that allows us to mount two of these um, Roadlink Filmmaker kits. So we can mount two of those side by side. One two and then we can use two uh, microphones i'll come to those in a second but that's a little reel it just sits in there in case we need it and a good old power brick power block whatever you want to call them um that's great for well power so we tend to use that a lot um i say we tend to use that a lot because we bring all of the the uh, power cables for all of our cameras um, we don't really run on battery whenever we do meetups and and conferences. In fact, we don't really run on battery for most of the stuff we do. So that's why we always bring the power cables. Uh, that way you don't really have to worry about running out of battery. Put that in there. Um, here's our B uh, wide camera. This is the HFG25. Um, you can learn a bit more about that in that video we made about the cameras we use. You can watch that up there. But uh, yeah, it's our wide camera. Put that way in the bag too. I'll bring the bag in a bit closer now that it's starting to fill up. Um, something we always bring is AA batteries. We always need these for the uh, microphones. I'll get to in a second. Put those in there. And let's get to the microphones. So, uh, similar to everything else in these days, we've made a video about this. You can watch up there. But this is the Roadlink uh, Filmmakers Kit. Um, it's good for what we do. I would definitely trust it for meetups and stuff. Big conferences, not so sure, but definitely meetups. It definitely does a great job for us. Uh, but basically, yeah, you just uh, plug one end into the camera, this one, plug a microphone into this end, and you've got a nice wireless link. So put those away. To go along with that, there's this little pouch, and this holds the connection for the camera, a microphone's in there too, um, and a little windshield. We just keep all those together in this little pouch that comes with the kit. Put that in there. Um, here's something that we really, really need. We shoot to SD card for all of our cameras. So we have a little pouch full of SD cards that are, um, yeah, they're ready to use. They go back in here whenever we're done with them. So I know that I can pull out any of these cards and use it. I've also numbered everything. If you can see there, uh, yeah, you can see that. That's number three. Number four is in here. And uh, we tend to number everything so you know at a glance what number SD card goes into what camera. Um, it's not like an absolute rule or anything, but it just, it's a general piece of reference. I put number one in the wide camera 
and whenever I bring number one back to the computer, I know what's on it. Put that in there, and then we have a couple of these that we use. That is um, the uh, rugged version. Uh, I think this is uh, one, no, two terabyte drive. We've got a couple of them we use for conferences and events. I really like these. I'd much prefer solid state, but for the price of uh, moving hard drives, these are definitely worth the money. And they have lasted well for us. Put that in there. Here's something that's kind of new to the bag, which is uh, headsets. I've covered these in the microphone, the road link uh, video, but basically little headsets that you put over your ears and then you attach the microphone to the end down here. And that lets you um, not have to pin it to someone's lapel, but instead it becomes a face, a face mic, if you will. Um, I really like those. They're cool. They're a bit ugly that they're all like that color. I'm gonna maybe spray paint them. I don't know. I want I want them to be different, a different color to to pure black because it's a very noticeable color. So I'll fix that someday. And I kind of just shave them in there. They they're thin metal. They kind of bend, but you can always bend them back again. Need a decent pair of headphones. In this case, we have the Sony MDR7506 uh, headphones. Really good for um, for audio. Um, so we keep those in there. They kind of squish against the headset thingies. And what does that leave? Um, there's a few little blank spots. In this spot, we usually put the charger for the uh, MacBook Pro. And the MacBook Pro fits in a little slot at the back as well. Uh, over here, we could tend to put just a few bits and pieces. Uh, usually we have two of these uh, Roadlink kits because we tend to make up two people at a time. So we put one in there and one in here. So that's just something else that's missing from this because I'm using it right now to make this video as well. And the one final thing that I always have... Oh, actually there's two more things here hidden. I didn't see those. Um, this is a little multi-tool that I use. It is the cheapest multi-tool ever, but it has come in handy many a time. It's got a little, uh, a couple of screwdrivers on there. You can probably just about see them. And a few little uh, Allen keys on the other side. So if you're really in a pinch and you need something to unscrew or tighten, that has come in handy plenty of time, even though it was a cheap little uh, purchase. Something I've actually never ever used for this bag, but it's a rain cover for the bag. Good to have just in case, but I literally have never used this. Um, I'm not sure why. And then the final thing that goes in the bag is what I like to call my little uh, little geek pouch or whatever. But basically, it's what I travel with no matter whether I'm filming or not. But it's just got all my cables, lightning, um, Apple Watch, USB uh, mini and micro and C. It's got a headphone splitter in here. It can be good for planes when you're with someone. Um, it's got the old classic two prong airplane to one three and a half millimeter adapter. If I can fit that in there, there we go. Um, extra power bank, the light is on for some reason. Um, so we use that for, yeah, if I just want to charge something. It's also good, it can also power a lot of things because it has one amp and a two amp power supply. So it can power a GoPro or recharge a phone, all sorts of things. A pen, notepads that I've, gotten from conferences as uh, freebies. And then finally, always carry this nice little four USB uh, a charger thingy. It comes, it's a pretty cool one actually, it comes with the US plug as standard, but then it uses that same US plug to adapt to a UK plug, if you're going to the UK, or the Europe plug, which is what I use mainly, if you're around Europe. So keep all those, so that way I'm covered for all the uh, most destinations that I go to anyway. And I keep all those nicely tucked in there. This closes up and I put that in the camera bag as an extra piece of gear. I'm just gonna jump in here and add a little bit. I also like to bring a few extra HDMI cables, a HDMI splitter, as you can see here in this previous video about how we record meetups. So you can see a few extra cables there. HDMI splitter, and uh, it runs over to this Aver Media Live Gamer Portable device that lets me record the screens. So I just thought I would uh, mention that and put it in here. So that's the bag packed. Everything is fitting in very snugly. It really does fit in snugly, and this thing is 
heavy-ish to carry around by yourself between trains and uh, planes and all that stuff. Like I said, the main camera you're watching this through would fit in where the 700D is. Put the extra mic pack that I'm wearing right now in uh, beside the other mic pack. But that's basically everything we bring. Uh, tripods go in a tripod bag and then that makes it easy to bring them somewhere. That's everything for a meetup and a small conference that we record. Uh, someday we'll show you the big boxes we bring whenever we live stream and live edit a conference. But for now, that's everything. Thanks for watching. You can see more episodes of Show and Tell in our playlist. And don't forget to subscribe for a new video around every week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.